Hello students. In the last video, we introduced you to two ways of um, measuring or naming directions, true bearings and compass bearings. In this video and the next one, we'll actually use those and trigonometry to answer some questions about distances and directions. So the question is, a yacht sails 64 kilometers on a true bearing of 215 degrees true, or 215. How far south is the yacht from its original position and round the answer to two decimal places? Okay, well, the first thing you always have to start with is basically your directions, your little compass. So you arrow pointing north and then east-west. So if you're not given that, that's the first thing that you draw. Okay, the next thing I have to do is approximately draw in a line on a true bearing of 215 degrees. Well, what I might do here is just work out how far past south that is. So I'll do a little calculation. 21 take 18 is 3, so it's about 35 degrees past south. So it's going to be roughly in that direction just there. And I'll write my 35 degree angle just in there. Now, before I finish my triangle, I'll go back and read the question. If I'm interested in how far west I am, I'll probably draw, finish the triangle that way. And that becomes the distance west. If the question is how far south am I, I'll finish the triangle that way. And that side becomes the distance south. So the question here is how far south is the yacht from its original position. So I draw a horizontal line there, parallel to that one, mark in the right angle. So I know that that angle there is 35 degrees. Now the 64 kilometers is the distance that he sailed. So that goes on that side. And there's my right angle triangle. The question is how far south am I? So I'm looking for that length just there. So that basically is what's new in this particular section, is how do we basically get the right angle triangle from the question? Okay, let's go ahead and solve this the usual way now. So there's the angle. So that's the hypotenuse on that side. That's the opposite side, opposite to the named angle, and therefore that's the adjacent side. So we need to find this length here. So I know the hypotenuse. I'm trying to find the adjacent. Adjacent over hypotenuse is, hopefully you know by now, is cosine. So adjacent over hypotenuse. OK, let's substitute everything that we know. So we know the angle is 35 degrees. The adjacent side is what we're trying to find, and the hypotenuse is 64. Multiply both sides by 64. And all of this by now, you should be very comfortable with this because we've done lots of examples like this. And we need to round this to two decimal places, so 64 cos 35. Let's go get our calculator and work it out. 64 times cos 35, close brackets, check that what I've typed is what I've written. Yes, it is. And two decimal places, 52.43. So 52.43 kilometers. So quickly summarizing, the first thing we had to do is draw in the bearing, in this case, 215 or 215 degrees true. The second thing I had to do is draw, finish it off and draw the triangle. So I could have drawn it that way, or I could have drawn it that way. It doesn't really matter which way you do it, but because I'm looking for the distance south, I decided to make my triangle just there. Mark in what you know. Mark in what you know, mark in what you're looking for, and then once you've done that, use trigonometry as we've done in the past to work out the unknown side. Okay, time for you to try one. So go ahead, please, and attempt this question here. Once you've finished, 
um, restart the video and we'll check your answer. Okay, welcome back students. Okay, so once again, the first thing you have to have is your compass. So your north line and your east-west line. So let's go ahead and start to uh, create the, uh, the diagram or finish the diagram. On a hiking trip, Sarah walks 8.3 kilometers west. So she walks in that direction and 5.4 kilometers north. So 8.3 kilometers and 5.4 kilometers. And let's complete the triangle like so. Calculate her true bearing. There's my right angle, but I put that in. Calculate her true bearing and compass bearing from her original position, which was there, to the nearest degree. So obviously, in this case, I'm looking for an angle. So that's the unknown angle. So to get the true bearing or the compass bearing, I first have to find the angle that I can use that to answer the question. Well, as usual, we always mark in the three sides. So opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. Opposite the angle of interest is the opposite side. And next to the angle of interest is the adjacent side. So I know the opposite, I know the adjacent. That's going to be the tangent ratio. So I write my tangent formula. Tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. Substitute everything we know. Well, I don't know the angle, but I do know the opposite side is 5.4. And I do know the adjacent side is 8.3. Um, recall from a few videos ago that we need to get the theta by itself. So we have to do the opposite of taking the tan, which is inverse tan. And the way we write inverse tan is tan to the negative 1, 5.4 over 8.3. And we finish it off by using our calculator. So clear what we have. Now to get the inverse tangent, we need to hit the shift key first. And then the fraction 5.4 over 8.3. Okay, once again, check that what I've typed is what I've written. Yep, it looks pretty good. And it's just to the nearest degree. So that's going to be 33 degrees. Okay, now we haven't answered the question yet. The, the question isn't how big is that angle. The question is the, the uh, true bearing and the compass bearing. So for the true bearing, it's just going to be 270 plus 33. So that's going to be 303 or as um, the textbook seems to use 303 degrees true. And the compass bearing is measured from the north. How many degrees are we to the west? So we need to work out what this angle up here is. Well, if that's 33, 90 minus 33, well, 90 minus 30 is 60. Take off another three. That is 57 degrees. So it's going to be from the north. We go 57 degrees towards the west. So there's the true bearing, and there's the compass bearing. OK, we're going to go on in the next video and just do two more questions. And that will then conclude all we're doing on trigonometry.